Augeas was a legendary king of Elis in Greek mythology. He was known to be the father of Epicasti and some even suggest he was one of the famous Argonauts who accompanied Jason on his quest for the Golden Fleece. However, Augeas was best known for his stables, which housed the largest number of cattle in the country and were never cleaned. The stench and filth of the stable made it impossible for anyone to clean it until the great hero Heracles arrived. Augeas had promised to give Heracles a tenth of the cattle if he manages to clean the stables in just one day. Using his exceptional strength and quick thinking, Heracles created a canal diverting the nearby river Alpheus into the stables and washed the filth away with ease. However, when Heracles demanded his promised reward, Augeas refused to pay up. Heracles, taking legal action, brought the matter to court, and it was decided that Augeas had to honor his promise. The cattle were divided, and Heracles went on his way with a victory under his belt. The story of Heracles and Augeas' stables is still remembered as a symbol of great strength and determination. It proves that even the dirtiest tasks can be completed with the right tools and mindset. Heracles had demonstrated that he could take on any challenge, no matter how difficult or unpleasant it may seem, and come out victorious in the end. Heracles, determined to prove himself, set out to clean the Augean stables. Upon arriving, he realized the task was more daunting than he had initially thought. The smell of the dung and the sheer amount of it made him question his abilities. However, he knew he could not fail, and so he got to work. As he shoveled the manure, an idea struck him. If he could redirect the rivers Alpheus and Peneus, they could wash away the filth. And so, he set out to do just that. Using his immense strength, he dug channels to redirect the rivers towards the stables. The rushing waters quickly washed away all the manure, leaving the stables clean for the first time in over thirty years. However, Augeas did not keep his end of the bargain. He refused to reward Heracles with one-tenth of his cattle. This made Heracles furious, and he killed Augeas in a fit of rage. The kingdom was then bequeathed to Phileus, Augeas' son, who was exiled for supporting Heracles over his father. Heracles didn't get the credit he deserved for his accomplishment. Eurystheus, the one who assigned the impossible task, alleged that the river did the job and that Heracles was rewarded for the labor. Despite the lack of recognition, Heracles established the Olympic Games, as commemorated by the poet Pindar. Determined to prove himself further, Heracles moved on to his next task, which was to defeat the Stymphalian birds.